I'm Donna Kalmer, and this is the second video unit in Lesson 4 of the New Age Looping Basics eCourse. In this video, you'll see a couple of ways you can use flip turn panels. For the samples in this lesson, I went to my stash and I found three different types of materials that would coordinate. I found strips of hand dyed cotton fabric, some hemp, which is used in the next video, and some hand spun hand dyed yarn. My plan was to use simple shapes to make a table mat, a teapot cozy, and a container for tea bags. My intention was to unify the different pieces with my choice of colors and to use pattern to provide some variety. For the table mat, I determined the desired approximate size through an elaborate mathematical process and sketched out my intentions on a 3x5 index card. The plan was to build a mat starting with one flip turn panel, adding other panels to that panel, then looping a border around the edge of the mat. To make a similar mat, begin with a needle chain and work a flip turn panel to the desired size. Now, I was distracted by a phone call while working this panel, and I'm pretty sure I made an unintentional decrease at the edge, somewhere in the middle. And by the time I noticed it, my panel was not a perfect rectangle. I decided, like many things in life, I could live with that. After working the first panel, I spliced on a contrasting color, worked a needle chain parallel to one of the edges of panel one, and then use that needle chain as a live edge for panel two. I worked panel two as a flip turn panel oriented at a 90 degree angle to panel one. Throughout the piece, I passed through any adjacent edge before making a flip turn to tie the panels together. The rest of the main mat was worked the same way by splicing on a contrasting color and making sure that I passed through any adjacent edge before making a flip turn. You'll notice that I didn't bury my tails as I went. I left tag ends hanging in case I might want to splice to them later, but it doesn't really matter. However you want to work it is fine. Once I had a fairly rectangular flat mat, which of course had a lot of curl on the edges, I simply started looping around the outer edge in a continuous spiral. That border helps tame the curl and frames the piece. As I looped around the piece, I cleaned up those tag ends, passing through a snip for extra security before trapping the tails. To make the teapot cozy, I looped two separate flip turn panels from the pink yarn, beginning each with a needle chain a little shorter than the belly of the pot. After making the two pink flip turn panels, I spit spliced on the green yarn at the corner of one panel and looped across a long edge. At the other end, I continued the green line with a short needle chain and went on my merry way, looping across a long edge of the other pink panel. After another short needle chain, I rejoined the first panel, then worked a couple rows of continuous spiral looping to make that border. I tied the bottom of the two pink panels together the same way to produce a cozy that's easy to slip over the spout and the handle of the teapot and it's all from two flip turn panels that are just tied together with a few rows of continuous spiral looping. In the next video I'll show you how a flip turn panel 
can become the base of a three-dimensional vessel. I'll see you there.